Anyone who's ever had an interest in cars and engines has likely had a love affair with the rumble of an engine, that symphony of sounds created by the engine's parts humming in harmony. In many ways, that sound is like a fingerprint. It is the character of the car. Many engines have similar notes, but others are very distinct, and that's what Baldwin Racing Engines in Friedheim, Missouri is known for. Fans of Jeff Baldwin's engines can pick out a Baldwin-built engine, whether it's circle track, truck pulling, or even demolition derby. They are always able to tell because of what they call the Baldwin sound. I'm Greg Jones, the managing editor of Engine Builder Magazine, and welcome to Engine of the Week. This video is sponsored by Cometic Gasket, sealed by Cometic. Today we're talking about a 440 LS dirt late model engine built by Baldwin Racing Engines. Jeff owns the shop and runs it along with his wife, Deanna, and four other full-time employees. The shop opened in 2002 and specializes in LS engine work for dirt track racing, demolition derby, drag racing, truck and tractor pulling, and really a little bit of everything. Jeff's engines not only sound great, they perform well too, keeping customers knocking at the shop door. Recently, he had a customer refer his buddy in Australia to Baldwin Racing Engines, and thus, this 440 LS dirt late model engine project began. The build started with the Dart LS Next aluminum block, which has a much better oiling system in it than the factory block. The block work consisted of deck plate honing and correcting the deck height. The block was already stroker notched for the proper stroke Jeff was putting in it, so the shop didn't have to do any clearance work there. Here's Jeff himself with some more about the engine. The cylinder heads, we went with a uh, mass 315 black label because of the alcohol and those, those large cubic inch with all custom titanium Del West quick eight valves in it. We got a solid roller custom comp cam. Uh, set of Jessel uh, rockers sitting on top of it. According to Jeff, he has used mast intakes and some of the bigger Edelbrock intakes in the past, but on this engine he went with a CID intake, which is a little bit larger intake and should work really well for this application. We got an alcohol Willie Super Bowl uh, system sitting on top of it, so we got no floats and no needles. Dan Olson uh, builds a custom oil pan for us for that Dart LS Next block. Does a really good job on those. We have a uh, Cali's Magnum crank and uh, ultra rod in that one. We got a uh, custom diamond piston built for that one for alcohol setup. Since this LS engine is going to Australia, it can't have coil packs and must be distributor driven, which Jeff selected an MSD distributor for. The engine also received dado bearings, PSI springs, and Cometic head gaskets. All said and done, Jeff is getting 900 horsepower and 770 pound-feet of torque out of this LS engine with a compression ratio of 14 to 1. That recognizable Baldwin sound now travels down under to Australia. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. If you have an engine that you'd like to see featured, email me at gjones at babcox.com. See you all next time.